So today we're talking about the uh, caliper ramp, and I broke mine. Uh, I don't think I put it in a video. I was gonna make one, but never got to it. Um, the caliper snowmobile ATV claims to be a ramp for anything that's power sports related. But the issue is, I know I've talked to a lot of sled guys about this. Not a lot, but enough to know that a lot of guys have been sledding longer than I have. The issue with these ramps is these are designed for a four-wheeler, but then they say it's sold for anything because they sell more that way. The issue with it is this middle piece. Now, a 121 track, you'll zoom right up it. Anything longer than that, you gotta have a lot of momentum. it and the, mainly I'm using the caliper tracks grabbers uh, now the caliper ramp is coming in on $379 on Amazon which the headache of trying to make your own ramp and do all these things it's worth that now I'm gonna be using plywood and self tap and the caliper tracks grabbers are 38 bucks on Amazon now it comes with the hardware and it comes with two sets of them they're not made for this ramp. They're made for like clamshells or uh, what's it called? Split rail systems, which is when you have like a rail of the ramp into your trailer is metal and whatnot. So these are made to go on each side. And But I'm gonna use them for this because dead center, they fit pretty nice. I only have two, so probably gonna do one at the bottom and one in the middle. So that's the issue we're facing today. Again, Caliper, great product. I'm not, I love the ramp, but it saved me a lot of time and effort with messing around with plywood boards and two by fours. It's, it's definitely saved me the headache, but there's definitely some things I can improve on it. So with no snow and a broken collarbone, I can't do much sledding. So I'm gonna work on the ramp, but. So I'm back from Home Depot. I picked up these two things of plywood. I didn't get a full sheet because this stuff was way cheaper. I got these self tappers. Um, I had some tap pawns here, but those don't work great for stuff we're doing. Uh, they're the Everbuilt Hex Head 10. You can see that. I'll pop up. I took a picture of the plywood I bought so you guys can see. Just make sure it's heavy duty and outdoor utility. Um, actually, I don't even think this is heavy utility. I think this is just outdoor hardwood. I'll have to trim a little off. Um, comes with two bags like this with a T, I wanna say that's a T21 bit, but I'm not sure. Um, and then on this, they have arrows going up, so that means this is going up. This way is, this is up the ramp, going that way. So put one right at the bottom there, and then probably another one right, right in the middle. Just finished up. Um, try to show you. This is it. It's closed right now. It's a bit of a hump, but I can still wear it. 
closes. I can still fit a piece of form wire through there and uh, wrap it up. So let's open it. So there's those two. I'm probably gonna order two more. I uh, had a gap right here because I didn't just want to, one, I didn't want to share these on one piece, but I also didn't want to, I cut the, one of them wrong, just, I ended up with this gap. So I put that there, but then self-tapped right into this beam that runs across that one. And right there is one of the fire spots. You can see it still bends, but you know, it's not bending terribly but yeah so there's the ramp uh again just make sure you follow your arrows make sure up is pointing up so it works as caliber intended and there it is not too much heavier than it was uh you know it added obviously it added weight but not too much but Definitely can't wait to get some snow and try this out. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you can. I'm trying to get some more subscribers. I'll have more videos out too. So yeah, subscribe if you can. And thank you for watching.